it wasn't until like a couple months later when um, Hobson had went on his Raw tour and the homies wanted me to um, check out what he had going on. And then that's probably when you discovered <laughs> Hobson and, and the music he was putting out. Yeah. Um, I mean, he has some kind of comedy type, you know, tracks. Um, but uh, still, yeah, I'm sure you could probably tell the, the lyrics he was, you know, he still had capable lyrics, uh, was still a dope artist. Oh yeah. I thought he was, I thought he was, uh, weird, but I thought he was super dope mm -hmm. and you know, the contacts and all that stuff was a little different for me. And I was coming with like a real slower, like poetic, you know, Tupac kind of feel to my shit. It wasn't as aggressive and hyped up as them. So I didn't really see the fit at first. Um, but I definitely thought um, Hop and Swizz were both killers. Yeah, and then so here you come in to the to the picture. How was the welcoming? You know, for you being a different type of music compared to what they were putting out. It was all love. Yeah, it was all love from day one. Um, I went and met with them before any music or anything. You know, I just went and just to see if like I could vibe with them. Like Dame wanted me to come over to his crib and him and Swizz is his little brother. So they stayed together at the time. So, and they had the whole like funk volume merch set up in, in one of the rooms and they was just kind of running like a little business, you know, that's where I wanted to get to. Yeah. You know, so I was like inspired by that, but then I got to chill with Hop and you know, he was cool. He was, you know, he wasn't like the crazy version that you saw on YouTube, he was like a normal yeah. musician that was like passionate about his shit. But um, I could tell he was a little more conservative. So, you know, that was just kind of like our introduction.